Hello, hello, it's Echo. Hope you're having a wonderful morning or afternoon. Time is an illusion. I'm wearing a pajama poop emoji shirt. This is not the video that I had scheduled to make today. So just in case you haven't been on the internet for the last few days, a made up character named Bowsette uh, has kind of taken over various parts of the internet. So essentially, Nintendo released some clip or something from a future game that hasn't been released yet, and it's like this power-up crown that turns Toadette into a Princess Peach form of Toadette. Kind of is, but isn't Princess Peach. The internet got a bit confused because this had strange implications on the physics of the Mario universe. And then this guy made this comic uh, that featured this female version of Bowser, looking very Peach-esque, and the artist community just kind of ran away with it in the best of ways. Naturally, I jumped on the bandwagon and threw up a picture on Twitter, and that was it. That was where I was gonna call it. I was just gonna post it, have a little cheeky, look at this, it's so funny, this Bowser thing is great, I'm done. But no, here we are making a video. Why? because I'm trending media trash. Most of the artists I've been seeing have kind of been going back and forth between these two styles. One in which Belzette has red hair and slightly darker skin, so she's a bit closer to Bowser himself. And others where she is blonde and light-skinned, closer to Peach. Naturally, <coughs> naturally I prefer the red-haired one. I think it makes more sense that she would have red hair. But also some of the blonde ones are really, really nice. So originally I was not planning to make a video for this, so I went about my like, actual normal process for drawing things, and a lot of that involves dropping reference images directly onto my artboard, which I don't normally do if I'm making a video because these were just kind of ripped from Google Images, and usually I don't like putting artwork in videos that isn't mine without people's permission, or at least being able to source the artwork so that people can go to find that person. It's very basic art community etiquette. Cite your sources, give people the recognition they deserve. So these are the four images that I used as reference when I was making this, and these are the sources as far as I could find. I will also be putting as many of their links as I can find in the description of this video, and then you can go and tell them how awesome their artwork is. So let's have a look at the mess that I made on the internet last night. So probably one of my favorite things about Bowsette is that she's a very thick character. I think that's one of the reasons that the internet loves her so much. I was having a lot of fun giving her like thick thighs and hips and bigger upper arms. I love a good female character with thick upper arms. I don't get enough of that in my daily life. Looking back on it, I really wish I'd drawn like a shell poking out the side. I think that would have made a lot of sense. In a lot of the drawings that I've been seeing online, people are giving her this like little anime peach nose, even the ones that are supposed to look more like Bowser. But Bowser himself actually has like the visible two nostrils, so I thought that made more sense, at least for the red-haired version. I personally felt like it was really important to use Bowser in my reference images so that I could still keep along with his character. And I think that's one of the main reasons that this came out slightly different from other people's versions of Bowsette. All of my initial color stuff I pulled directly from a Bowser reference image, mainly as a starting point. This is another reason that I really like Bowsette with red hair, because Bowser actually has red hair, technically. One of the biggest problems I immediately noticed is that all of Bowser's colors are incredibly saturated, so I had to tone those down a lot. It looks a million times better after it's desaturated. Most of the other fan art that people have been making of Bowsette give her these gigantic blue earrings and like a blue stone on her chest. To me that seems more like a peach thing than a Bowser thing, so for this Bowser version of Bowsette I gave her very green earrings, because I feel like Bowsette doesn't have enough green. I also made the bottom part of her face a lot lighter than the rest of her skin, kind of in reference to like Bowser's muzzle thing. For the background I gave her kind of like this pixely green texture, kind of in reference to like old graphics I guess. And then after I finished my redhead version of Bowser I went ahead and I tweaked all of the colors to make the blonde version. Just for the people who might prefer that version of Bowsette. I put so much effort into this line art. Bowsette is a good character. I think she's cute. I recognize that Bowsette could be potentially problematic in certain ways, but I've chosen to ignore that and enjoy the art of the internet. Sometimes we just need to let ourselves enjoy things. I'm sorry. Thank you for joining me here on the trending train. I'm just gonna take off now. Also, I have temporarily reopened my P.O. Box. It's in the description. You are magical. Thank you for everything. I'm gonna give you 300 awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this trash video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the bones of your enemies, and hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye. Uh,
Jesus, let's drink some tea.